guys, in this video I'm going to be going over four of the first few drawings that I did on my iPad. Uh, I use a program called Procreate to create these and I'm absolutely loving it so far. My goal uh, this coming year is to only work in digital art. So with this first drawing, um, I was kind of going after like a demon hunter or something like that from World of Warcraft, just like this demon warrior type character. You can see that I'm blocking in um, in the shapes with just a really thick square brush. Uh, and right here, the screen turns orange because I, I set a, a background color to it and then basically apply that tone to the whole thing just to unify the color scheme. So one of the big reasons that I'm switching to digital art is I feel like I can accomplish a lot more a lot quicker with digital art than I could with pencil drawing. And I actually, I, I love it so much, at least my first few drawings and stuff, um, because like even with this drawing, you can see there's, you know, I had total control of the mood, the color scheme, everything. It looks like he's emerging from the shadows. Uh, there's maybe dead bodies in front of him. I just have so much more control over what I create from my imagination. And that's really the, the, the reason for this push into digital art. So I like to do portraits quite often and they're actually the easiest thing for me to draw um, as far as like when I can't come up with an idea to draw a cool scene or something like that I like to do portraits. Uh, in this video I, I wanted to pick out three very kind of different uh, forms of art that I might be doing like the first one's definitely a scene um, that should, paints a full picture of what's going on and this one is uh, just a portrait and then the last one's more of a concept art. But with this drawing, um, this one actually took me a lot more time and this is, this is really one of the first ones that I did and you can definitely see a lot of experimentation with mixing the colors uh, and one thing right here like you see with the pink paint that's on the side of his face, I'm really working with uh, complex light sources is something I really want to uh, push as well. Uh, I generally do like one light source, one light, and it's, you know, like a white light or something like that. And it's just pretty boring most of the time. But with this portrait, there's two light sources. There's like a hot, warm light on his right side of his face and like a pink, cooler, maybe neon light on the left side. And that's something I'll be experimenting with all year long. And the digital art um, allows me to experiment, undo, and just really mess around with understanding light a little better. Um, as far as this specific drawing goes, I, I felt like I learned quite a bit with this one. Um, and actually this one's better than a lot of the more current ones I've done only because I didn't get so uh, crazy with the smudge tool. I left some of the stuff rough. In fact, I added texture to them. And I feel like I need to come back to this because some of my more recent paintings are way too airbrush looking and that's something I really need to work on going forward. So with this drawing right here I really felt like Procreate was it after I did this drawing. I was like wow because you know I was still trying to figure uh, the digital art stuff out and seeing if I was really going to like it that all that much uh, especially on the iPad but with Procreate the program the app that I'm using and this drawing I felt like, you know what, I can do this for a whole year and absolutely love it. So this was definitely one of the drawings that um, got me in that mindset that I'm totally committed to learning digital art for the next year. So this is a concept for a warrior and this is very different than the other two because basically it's just a white background. Um, and this is a perfect example of how I'm just blocking shapes in. There's no line work. Uh, you could see that first dark green like I don't even worry about skin tones or anything like that I just use one color and block my shape in um, It's really fun. I actually really like working like that and it's really really fast and I feel like it, I, I'm getting my proportions a lot better than worrying about outlines I'm just looking at the shape and when I draw by looking at the shape and just blocking things in I feel like I get a better sense of the weight of the character, the 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 pose, I, it just feels like I'm I'm. It's a much better way to work for me. 
Uh, now, I know everybody's different, but I'm really, really uh, liking the results of this process, this more painterly um, workflow. So with this drawing, you know, the other cool thing about this is I can mix colors a lot more now, uh, let's say versus markers and things like that. So I'm really enjoying getting a lot more free with my color schemes. Uh, I, I really like the way this one turned out. I feel like it's unique. It's... Um, it, it's a believable character concept. I know his armor is really over the top and stuff like that, but this guy, I was kind of thinking more of a, like a video game uh, type character, uh, very colorful. So, you know, moving forward, I, I feel like this is definitely something I can build on, and I really enjoyed doing it. So that's pretty much it for this video. I basically wanted to give you guys kind of a... Um, an idea of how I'd be, I'll be doing these uh, digital art videos going forward. Now, draw videos in the future, I'll definitely be getting into what paint brushes and tools I'm using in Procreate and things like that. So as I get more comfortable with the tools and actually understanding it a lot better, I'll be incorporating that into the videos. But let me know what you guys think about this format and if you liked this video. Um, I'm definitely looking for feedback in these first few videos and uh, anyway, uh, hope you guys like the video and thanks for watching.